Hi, this is John Levy with Peter Botto for Tennis.com's Quick Hits. Pete, 2009 men's season is hard to believe, but it's already here. And one of the big stories going into it is Roger Federer. Will he break Pete Sanford's record? Well, you know, there's a lot of pressure on Roger to break it this year. I think that's the wrong approach, both for Federer and actually for his fans, too. Look, I mean, Federer at this point, he's like a skier. You know, he's going down the hill. He's got an avalanche behind him. He doesn't have just Rafael Nadal anymore, but he's got Andy Murray. We see he's jumped out to the best start of anyone this year. And he's got a couple of other guys like Tsonga and Djokovic who are, are going to be in the mix. If I were Federer and his fans, I would really, really say, look, be patient. You know, I mean, Roger's got great chances at three of the slams. Um, and if Nadal's not in the picture, even if the French open four of the slams. So I, I, the thing to do for him now is just keep his confidence, take what he can. I don't know that he'll break it this year. Personally, I don't think he'll get it this year, but I think he will get it. You know, we've gotten accustomed to Federer and Nadal kind of sharing the slams. Is this going to be one of those years where four different guys share the slams? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think right now you've got four quality guys up there. And, you know, you say four, but, you know, you've got a couple of other guys in the mix that really deserve mention here. You've got uh, Marin Cilic, who actually won one of the first events of the year. He's, he's a fine player. And you've got Juan Martin Del Potro, who played terrific on the hard courts last year. John McEnroe is very high on him. So now you're talking about six, maybe seven, eight guys in a mix here at the top. So it's very likely that we're going to have a real sort of cornucopia of champions this year. Now, of all those young guys you mentioned, which one of the group do you think has the best shot of winning his first slam this year? Well, look, is there any doubt about it? Andy Murray, he, you know, you got to give Andy Murray the nod. He's, you know, he, he stepped up great in that U.S. Open final last year. He just built on that from there, and his momentum going to this year has been terrific. So you got to give him the nod. Beyond that, I think your probably next best pick is Joe Wilfred Sanga. You know, people forgot that he got injured last year. He fell a little bit off the radar. But Sanga is a tough, tough player. He might even beat Murray to the punch because he had a great Australian Open last year. He's the sort of a defending final. So we'll have to see. You haven't mentioned very much about the Americans at the moment. Uh, James Blake had a bit of a down year last year. Andy Roddick comes back with Larry Stefanke as his coach this year. The Americans have a lot to look forward to this year. Well, you know, it's funny. I think you know, with Larry Stefanke, the selection of Larry Stefanke as his coach, you know, I think I think Andy's made his last big move realistically to get in the mix, get back in the mix, be a top five type player, top four player who's going to win slams. You know, both these guys are top American contenders. Uh, Andy Roddick and James Blake have a little bit fallen off the pace this past year. The good news for American fans, though, is that Sam Querrey, you know, he's he, this is his year. He's going to have to kind of really do it this year. He's going to have to make a move. He doesn't have to win a slam necessarily, but he's going to have to lift his game, get up into that top 15 type territory. Then it will probably be in good hands. And if Querrey brings a little bit of pressure on these guys from behind, you know, it might actually force them to elevate their games too. And maybe that's just what they need. Well, that wraps up Tennis.com's Quick Hits. I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo.